uh, subject that was shot, is he a known person to you? Has he been in trouble before? No, not trouble, no, not necessarily. No. Did he have any mental health issues? That's something that we're good. we can't comment on anything like that at this point. Was he involved in law enforcement as a career at all? Chief, uh, he was. Um, Mr. Sloan worked for our department for approximately 15 months as a patrolman. How long ago was that, Chief? Uh, he was hired on November 6, 1995, and his employment with the city ended on February 5th, 1997, so just a little over 15 months. Did he end it? His career? Excuse me? Did he end his career or was he fired? Uh, his employment was ended with the City of St. Mary's Police Department because he was unable to successfully complete his probationary period. Was he making any threatening gestures toward the officers when he exited the vehicle? We can't comment on that at this time. Would this possibly be a suicide by cop scenario? We're, again, we're going we're gonna to protect the integrity of this case, the victims, the victims' families involved. We're not going to answer those questions at this time. Did he fire any shots? No, sir. Did he have a weapon? Yes, sir. What kind of a weapon? A handgun. Did he point it at any officers? We're, again, we're not going to do any speculation on that at this time. We're going to let BCI and I conduct their investigation. Do the cameras in your cruisers, are they functional? Yes. Did they record this incident? The, the, video, the videos that, that are available, BCI and I have collected. What initially started the whole incident? A call to the sheriff's office that, that, this, that this individual, Mr. Sloan, was headed to St. Mary's either to harm himself or harm someone else. Who was that called in by? So we're not going to go there at this time. Was that like a 911 call? Or? No, sir. It was not a 911. So your officer spotted his vehicle? Yes, sir. And then tried to stop him? Correct. And he wouldn't stop? Correct. How many miles? He did now. He did. Let's clear that. He did stop at the marathon station. Initially, he would not stop. It was a slow moving pursuit at the time. And how long are we talking about here? It's your city, Chief. Uh, <laughs> distance or time? Both. Both. Yeah. Um, distance, I'm only speculating, but probably a couple miles. Um, the pursuit, luckily, was low speed. Um, the public was never in any danger based on the pursuit. Um, it probably lasted um, just a few minutes. I'd have to, you know, consult with the law to verify the time, but a few minutes I was, I was anyway. When you say low speed, what's low speed? Uh, 10, 15 miles an hour. Uh, at no time was Mr. Sloan reckless in his vehicle. Um, he stopped at the, uh, the stoplights. Uh, although he did proceed against the red, he did stop. He was not driving uh, recklessly at all. Did any of the officers attempt to tase him instead of firing deadly force? No, sir. This, the taser would not have been, that would not have been protocol in this, with what took place at the time and what we're aware of at the time. Does it appear that your officer was following policy? At this time, the preliminary investigation, it appears that the officer, the deputy was following the policy, yes. Have you guys had any uh, officer-related shootings in the past, say maybe 5, 10, 15 years? It's a good question because last evening somebody asked, I don't remember what news agency in my answer was I couldn't remember uh, after we talked about it today we did have an incident back in 86 or 87 um, and it, involved, it was an officer involved shooting the uh, deputy involved was shot at returned fire there was not a death as a result of that shooting what about you chief uh, not that I can recall no. we want the public to know that uh, it's an isolated incident We feel for the victims involved, uh, not only the victim's family, but again also the law enforcement officers and their family involved.